hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mildred and I'm here to share with you guys ways in which you can manage stress so these are just self-care tips that you can use to manage days where you are just feeling exhausted and you don't want to do anything you just want to relax and come back to yourself it is most likely that most of us sometimes feel stressed out uh, it could be a time during your final exams it could be a time uh, where you are interviewing for jobs or maybe when you are running up for a promotion or just like anything general in your life and you are feeling stressed and you need a moment to come back to yourself and just feel like yourself again so these tips I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are going to be helpful in that way uh, they are going to help you get back to your normal self and probably even improve your mood so if you'd like to know what I have to say stay tuned and let's go ahead and start with this video but before we do so make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and make sure to share the video with your friends and family that would make me really happy and let's go ahead and start with this video first things first you need to balance work and play oftentimes we feel overwhelmed because we are just concentrated on work and all work with no play is going to leave you miserable because you are constantly doing something that uh, most probably doesn't give you joy just gives you money uh, but if you have found a job that gives you joy then congratulations to you but if you have not then you are probably doing something that tires you out every day and focusing on that only is going to be harmful for you so you need to balance both work and play make sure to schedule in time where you don't do anything related to work just so your mind can refocus and you remind yourself you are here to live life and not just here to work for money so make sure to balance work and life and make sure to add a little bit of play time to your schedule one thing i will stress in almost every video is for you to take care of your body you need to eat well you need to exercise regularly and you need to get enough rest and also drink enough water to stay hydrated Taking care of your body is one of the fundamental things that you need in order to function properly because not taking care of your body is going to stress you out because your mind is going to be overwhelmed and if you do take care of your body you're going to relieve some of that stress just by doing those small things that ensure that your body is in shape. Habits like exercising regularly are going to ensure that your well-being is taken care of eating healthy is going to make sure that your body stays right and you don't come across uh, small illnesses that are going to take away from your time and obviously getting enough rest is going to make sure that your body is rejuvenated for the next day and drinking water like i said just hydrates your body it keeps you functioning properly so make sure to take your body and you will see your stress levels go down moving on you need to surround yourself with supportive people the people around us will determine how we feel about ourselves so if you have people who are always there for you who give you compliments who give you motivation this is going to show you that you are more than just a bad day and you can actually do more with your life so having those people around you is going to motivate you to get up and try to pick yourself up and get back to your usual self so you are up and running again being surrounded by people who are not supportive is just going to add more to your stress and it's going to make you feel even more in a slump and this is not what we are going for so make sure that the people around you are supportive if your friends and family are not supportive you can uh, try to try to minimize contact with them i know this sounds extreme but this is going to be beneficial for your mental health you, you honestly need to be away from anything that causes you stress so make sure to remove yourself from negative people and just surround yourself with nurturing people so that you can flourish another thing you need to do is find time for your hobbies this goes hand in hand with the point that you need to balance work and play finding time for your hobbies is going to boost your mood because you when you are doing your hobbies you are doing something that you enjoy it's something that doesn't feel tedious it's just a way for you to relax and enjoy your time so doing hobbies like reading maybe running or just taking a walk outside listening to music or even just watching a movie these, these things will lighten a load of your shoulders and you will feel much better just by doing these things on a daily basis maybe like once or twice a week it honestly just depends on your mood but just make sure to have time for your hobbies and 
not always be focused on work. Another thing that I find really helpful is journaling. Having a journal has been the greatest thing ever for me because when I have feelings that I can't share with somebody, I just put them down in a journal and that helps me deal with them because putting them down on paper actually helps me feel and deal with those feelings other than other than just letting them stay in my head and just and just ruminating over and over again over the same thing which tends to be chronic for your health so make sure to journal if you have something that you can share with somebody else or even if you have things to share or even if it's something you share with another person just make sure that you put that down on paper and the next time you read whatever it is that you were going through you, you see that you've actually come a long way and this will also boost your mood it will, it will remind you that you are a strong person and that you have overcome a lot so just make sure to journal if you feel like journaling on paper is tedious you can maybe have a digital diary or maybe you can maybe have a digital diary where you type up your feelings you type everything that you are feeling or you can even do a video where you just talk about your feelings and then just save it somewhere in your computer and come back to it later on another helpful tip is for you to practice meditation meditation has scientifically been proven to help reduce stress uh, you can meditate and maybe do things like yoga or just my practice mindfulness this is going to help boost your mood it's going to alleviate your stress and it is going to make sure that you are healthy you are rejuvenated and it's going to declutter your mind so practice meditation and you will see how it improves your life Another simple thing that we take for granted is taking a walk. Experiencing nature tends to be beneficial for your body, for your health, for your well-being because when you are outside you get to be within nature, you breathe in uh, air that is fresh, you interact with uh, natural colors. Everything outside is just uh, a mood booster so you need to take a walk it can be a 10 minutes walk or a 40 minutes walk just something small to get you going again finally if you feel like your stress is not going away you need to seek counseling there are so many counseling services that we don't know about uh, but if you ask around if you ask people in your community you will find that there are resources out there for you uh, for example if you are in a college if you are in school there's always a guidance counselor and if you are maybe at home I'm sure you can find something at a clinic near you or if you can afford to I'm sure there are counselors that you can reach out to and seek the help that you need so that is all I had for you today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any other helpful tips that I may have skipped make sure to leave them in the comment section below and with that being said uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video.